Hello and welcome back. This is video 7 of Making Schematics and PCBs with KiCad. In this video I'll show you how to prepare your files to print. When we finished the last video we had laid out all of the component outlines, connected them with traces and vias, and then I showed you how to duplicate the entire design and copy it and paste it so we have two on the same board because I happen to have a board that's that particular size that I'm going to print on. But I think to explain a few things better I'm going to just do one schematic at a time. So I'm going to select my selector tool. I'm going to come over here and highlight the entire second schematic and then just delete it. What I want to show next is to run a design rules check of our board. That's going to check to see that everything is connected correctly. So I'm going to go up here to the perform design rules check button. It's the same one that looks like the bug. We'll click on that. We can go with the defaults and then run DRC. And no problems or markers come up, so it says everything is good. Now I want to lay out some text on a silk screen layer. So I'm going to go over here to the uh, right side. I'm going to select my front silk screen layer. And then on my toolbar here, I'll select text. So we can click on the text. We'll name our board. Um, we can select the size of the text. Uh, this is defaulted for one, mil one millimeter, but if I want to change that, again, I can go up here to the selector tool, hover over that, hit the hotkey E for edit. I, uh, maybe I want it to be a little bit larger. I'll change it to 1.5 millimeters, and then I can move that to where I want on the board. If you have silkscreen logos or words that you want put on, that's how you do that. Next, I want to display the dimensions of my board. So I'm going to select the fabrication layer, uh, make it visible, and then select it. And then I'm going to, in my menu of items, I'm going to click Add Dimension, then come over and click on one corner of the board, drag to the other corner of the board, and click again. Then I can lift that up, and it shows me in detail the exact width of that board. Again, click on a corner drag to the other corner and then pull it out to the side. It shows me the dimension, length, and width of that board. And I can turn off that fabrication layer or leave it on. Now I'm ready to export my files to be printed. So to do that you go up to File and instead of Export we're going to go down to Plot. And I want to select Gerber View as the plot format. I want Gerber. And you can select which layers. I'm going to include my copper layers, my silk screen layers. I, I want my edge of the board, so I'm going to include that. And then I can plot, and it creates my plots. And then I can tell it where to save that report. I'm going to put it in the continuity tester folder and click Save. Then I also want my drill files to drill the holes through the board. And I'm going to leave everything as the defaults. Again, I can select where to save that and generate the drill files. And then I can close my windows there. Now to view the, the Gerber files, I go back to my KiCad main project manager window and select the Gerber viewer. Okay, then I'm going to open the Gerber files. It asks where to look for those. You just show it where to look for them, and I'm going to select all of these files. And that's what my Gerber file looks like. 